What's going on everyone? Matthew Osborne here and this is the day 10 update of the 14 day eFlip challenge. This is the challenge where for 14 days I'm sourcing on eFlip, uh, buying books from Amazon to sell back on Amazon for a profit every single day for 14 days and I'm showing you daily what I'm doing, what I'm purchasing and how much money hopefully I'll be able to make from this challenge. Uh, if this is the first video you're watching, check out the link below. You can sign up for the challenge for free. Get the first three videos uh, where we explain what eFlip is, how to use it and then these videos will make a lot more sense you can follow along for the full 14 days but this is my day 10 for the challenge and this is the book that I purchased uh, hopefully you guys have been able to stay consistent uh, with me in this 10 days and you found some good finds uh, so today I spent a little bit less money if you remember from yesterday if you watched that I spent a, a greater sum of money because I purchased two books and then two days before that I spent even more money and then a couple days in there I spent less to try and make up for it so use the budgeting sheet as more of a guideline uh, you can set what you want to invest for the month and try and stick to that but like I said certain days I was able to find good finds so I purchased a couple of them and then I made up for it a few other days by spending a little bit less money so you can always do that uh, try and stay consistent within your budget though it is very easy to spend a lot more money than you're intending to spend and especially when you're starting out you want to take it a little bit slower make sure what you're buying is profitable and then scale up from there so let's jump into this book Right here I have the Keepa chart. There's no orange in the background. So you can see Amazon has not been on this listing in the past year. The average new price the past year stayed around $124. The average use price has been between $45 and $60, but it stayed pretty consistent. And you can see by these bumps right here, each of these is a sale, uh, that there's not much seasonality to this. It's selling fairly consistently throughout the entire year. Uh, which is great to see in these books and also even better you can see it's recently dropped kind of its lowest point uh, right here for the used offers which is a good time to buy and return it to the normal market value it has been at so let's take a look at the used offers for this book you can see there's a $17 one a really cheap one there there's two $19 ones and the price gets bumped back up after that it's $41 and the funny thing is in that last one right there you can see it says $38 but if you look closely it says $20 shipping so either the seller is trying to take advantage of whoever buys this and hopefully they don't see that price or this book is very heavy so maybe they somehow calculated that and that's really what they're expecting shipping to be uh, it's a two volume set and they're, I'm guessing they're very big books because it says it's 15 pounds so they do have something going for them there but keep an eye out for things like that where they sneak in very large shipping costs uh, but yeah, so there's these three lower offers. Once those sell, the price is going to be the floor price for this book is going to be around $41. There's not a ton of offers on this, and there hasn't been a ton of offers on this, so don't expect a flood of these coming on the market. So I purchased that lower one right there for $17.82 plus the shipping. And then Prime Offers, we can see on this one, is $85 and $92. Now right now, these are pretty far away from the floor ones right there of $17 and $19. That's why I purchased this lowest one. Now there's only two low offers there. Once those sell, if those happen to sell next, the bottom price will be $41 uh, and it'll be a lot closer to these prime prices and these can be a lot more realistic. But the cool thing about this book is that my total buy cost is $23.82 and to get 100% return on my investment, I only need to sell it at $75. Currently the prime prices are $85. So I have some flexibility in there. I can also drop it all the way down to $61 and still make 50% return on my investment, which is close to what the floor use price has been for the past year. So I know people are willing to buy it at that price. I know it will return to that price soon once those two lower offers get sold. And so hopefully I can get this book sold prime uh, for between $75 and possibly even $85 closer to what it's at right now. I'm probably gonna try and come in first on this offer since the sales volume isn't crazy. Uh, and hopefully get that 100% return and I have some flexibility there like I said to drop it a little bit and still get a good return on my money. So this is the kind of book hopefully you guys are looking for. I spent $23 today again because I spent more yesterday and two days ago. Uh, but then tomorrow I can probably return closer to what I budgeted for this and whole 14 day challenge. There's only four days left. Again, if you guys haven't signed up or you haven't downloaded the tracking sheet, download that below. You'll want to be tracking every purchase you do. Uh, it's been a really big help because if I have a book that comes in that's not in the condition described, not the version described, I have it listed there. I have who the seller is. I have the order number and it makes returns a whole lot easier going forward. The really cool thing about the books I've received so far, if you guys have been watching from the past, you know about 50% of the books I've purchased have been in acceptable condition, 
uh, a lot of the books that I've gotten in have actually been in good or very good condition, even though they were listed as acceptable. There have been one or two that I've gotten so far that are very much acceptable books. Uh, but most of them, I've been pleasantly surprised, have been in good condition. Some of them could be even qualified as very good condition. So I can maybe get a tiny bit of a bump uh, in those books as well. And maybe be able to sell them for a little bit more than I had planned to. Uh, and also, this challenge has only been going on for, what, 10 days? And I've already received almost um, the first five days full worth of books. So these books are actually coming in a lot quicker than I expected them as well. Which is great because I can get them sent out faster and get them sold a little quicker. So hopefully you guys are having success too. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in the day 11 update.